Hello everyone, welcome to yet another update on the Gas PLS project. So this has been about a month since the last update and there has been a lot going on. So um, I'm really happy with everything that I'm going to show you and I hope that all of you guys are going to like it. Uh, as always, and since last time, there's a Discord uh, server right now. So if you want to discuss the project, if you want to collaborate with the others, or if you want to propose new things, please feel free to join the Discord. If you want to support the project, there's a buy me a coffee link. Um, but uh, yeah, let's jump in. So last time the project was updated to 5.6 and it has been moved to um, a plugin format so that it's easier to integrate into other projects. Uh, now for this version, the updates, the first and big one is the separation between base poses and overlay poses. So now there's a Q button and there's the E button. So the Q button is basically the pose. So you can see that it's different stances for the character. There's masculine stand, there's the feminine stand, there's the ALS stand, and there's the default gasp stance. And the E is basically the overlays. So the rifle, the pistol, and here you can see that we can combine both of them. So you can combine the feminine pose with the uh, pistol or the rifle pose. So this should uh, give a lot of freedom in terms of how to use the system. If you have different characters in your game, you don't have to have different sets of animation. For example, like Lyra does it. Lyra has entire sets for feminine and masculine. Here you can basically just have a character that is like strong and masculine, and then you can put the overlay on top of it, and it's going to work uh, just like magic. So really happy with this update. I think this is going to open a lot of possibilities. Um, in terms of how to use the system uh, in, with multiple uh, different characters. So, um, another update that was done is uh, a simple transition animation when we're switching overlays or when we're switching base poses. And this is basically done so that the feet don't stick to the ground because before when we switch poses, for example, the rifle pose has uh, the legs a little bit uh, far away apart compared to other poses. So this makes it so the, the, the feet reposition themselves on the ground, which gives a nice uh, feeling to, to, the, to the character. Uh, it doesn't happen if you're, if you're moving, so you will not see that if you're moving, but it happens uh, if you're standing so that the feet uh, realign correctly. And the, um, another update that was done, and this was a very, very highly requested one, is proper hand IK now. So the items now have proper IK. You can see that the hand, for example, here with the bow is sticking properly. Uh, if we move to the rifle, um, you can see that now the hand is properly placed. Even if you're aiming, even if you're in per first person, hand IK is done properly and I I'm going to show you how it works uh, in a few. So you can see that the character is holding the gun properly. It's also working for the different characters. So if we take, for example, Quinn, we give her the uh, feminine pose and the two-hand weapon and it is working properly. Also with the different uh, items. So yeah, the system is pretty much ready right now. It has everything ALS had and even more, I think. Uh, there may be some like minor things, but it's actually doing a lot more than ALS was doing, especially with the separation of the uh, poses and the bases. So this should give a huge uh, freedom in terms of how to use the system. If you have a, I don't know, an open world game with a bunch of characters, you can basically just uh, design different poses and then all those characters that use those different poses can actually still use the uh, overlays to hold items, hold weapons in their hands. Sweet. So now to show you uh, a little bit how all of this is done. So if you go to the AVP character here in the anim graph, you will see that the hand IK, before we were using a simple two bone IK, now we're using fabric nodes. Um, these fabric nodes are basically moving the um, uh, bone to the transform that is selected here. There's these two functions, get hand IK left, get hand IK right. Uh, both of these are using this function here, get hand IK transform. And if you go into this function, you will see that it's doing some things here. Basically, what it is doing is 
it's getting the um, overlay skeletal mesh or static mesh, depending on if the overlay item is a static mesh or a uh, skeletal mesh, and it's getting the uh, proper hand IK. Uh, for example, the bow. The bow is a weapon that we hold with the left hand. The hand IK uh, is hand IK right. And for the M4, for example, it's a weapon that we hold with the right hand, so the hand IK is for the hand left. So this is how the system works. If you want to explore it, you can start from here. This is in the main animation blueprint, and you can follow these two fabric nodes for the setup, and then the functions are get hand IK left, get hand IK right, and get hand IK transport. Uh, the second thing is the little transition animations. So the transition animations are done basically here. If you go to the um, uh, overlay functions, we have update overlay base and update overlay pose. So both of these functions, in the end, they are just playing this stand transition animation. That's all there is to it. So whenever we switch um, an overlay base or pose, it's playing this, which allows the feet to uh, get unstuck from the ground and to reposition correctly based on the overlay. Um, aside from this, the uh, setup with the bases and the poses, that's a little bit a more complex one. But basically what we've done is uh, here, if you go into the, uh, the content folder of the plugin, of course, and in overlay system, you will see that if you go into overlays, you will have two uh, folders now, bases and poses. And if you go into bases, you will see that it has basically the same setup as for the others. So it has a, um, a data asset, an animation blueprint that inherits from ABP overlay base pose, which is here, and then the same setup for the poses. Um, in the um, layer blending, so if we go here into ABP layer blending, this is where most of the changes are. So this is a slightly more complex system here where it's basically now has four inputs, uh, the locomotion input, which is coming from the motion matching. And then we have the overlay base, which is the feminine, masculine, ALS, GASP. It has the overlay pose, which is the um, uh, rifle, uh, the torch, etc. And then we have the input base pose, which is like basically the base pose of the character. And that one, you can find it directly in here. If we go back to the, anim the, the main anim graph, you will see um, there is a little state machine here for the base poses, and all it does is it has the uh, the base poses for the character, the guest character. So you have the stand idle, you have the stand move, which are slightly different poses. Um, so uh, yeah, this is how um, the system is right now. Um, Again, there's the Discord if you want to discuss these things or showcase what you guys are building with it. Uh, we'd be really happy. The Discord is already over 200 people, which is incredible. So please join the Discord, share your work. Uh, if you want to collaborate, the GitHub project is open uh, for contributions. You can just make uh, pull requests and we'll be happy to accept it if everything is all right and working properly. Um, there will be uh, more cool stuff coming to the project, but I think that the project is in a state where it is like really functional and really usable for uh, actually building games on top of. Um, there will be some other cool stuff coming. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in the GASP ALS project or in other separate projects that are going to use GASP ALS, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, awesome stuff is coming as always.